You got this man called, who's stand, he's standing in the shadow of death. He's called Barabbas. We know him as Barabbas, the criminal. The, the Bible says he was a criminal. One says he was a murderer. He was a revolutionary. He was part of an uprising. He's now standing, getting ready to be killed. He's, he's in prison. It is Passover. And across Jerusalem, the, the priests of Israel, they have a different prisoner. They have Messiah. And that, you know, the, the high priest of Israel, the priest of Israel, they were in charge of lifting up the sacrifices. They, their part was to sacrifice. Well, now they have a different sacrifice. They don't realize he is the sacrifice, but he, they're about to offer him up to be killed. Now, there was something in Hebrew called the hata'ah, which means the sin offering. And the sin offering, the thing about the sin offering is that the word in Hebrew doesn't just mean the sacrifice for sin. It means literally the sin itself. So the sacrifice also was called the sin. The sacrifice becomes the sin. So the thing about the law of the sacrifice is that when you had a sacrifice dying for you, that sacrifice in itself becomes you. You become the sacrifice. It's a, it's a union. It can only die for you if it becomes as you. It can die in your place because it becomes you. It becomes your thing. So there's a transference. They, they would put their sins onto the sacrifice. The, the sacrifice would be identified with them. Only then can they die. So the, the two, whoever's dying for you, has to become one with you in order to die for you. This happened at Abraham and Isaac. The first one, he offers up his son, and they find a ram instead. So the son is released, but the ram dies in the place of Isaac. Then on Passover, you have the son in every household who's going to be die, who's going to die. There's going to be there's a, there's the angel of death's coming, but the lamb takes the place of the son, and the son takes the place of the lamb, goes free. So you got this transference going on all the time. Now here it is. It is it is Passover. You got Barabbas, the hardened criminal, and we can only imagine what he thought. For the first time in his life, he knows of or sees this other guy, Yeshua, Jesus, there. And, and because it's Passover, Passover is the time when the lamb has to die for the one who has the sentence of death over him. So here, he is going to, the one is going to die for the other. But when the pr high priest, the high priest would offer up one sacrifice he had to offer up every year that only the high priest could. It was the sacrifice of Yom Kippur, atonement. And when he did, something had to happen beforehand. He, the Bible says he would take two goats, one goat to his right, one goat to his left, and he would present the goats before the people. He would take in his hand an urn, uh, you know, and in the urn were two stones. He would take out one stone, put it on the head of one goat, take out the other stone, put it on the head of the other goat. On one stone was written the words, Ladonai, or to the Lord. And then that, and that, they would say the actual name of God. This one would be the one that would die and go to the Lord, would be the sacrifice. On the other one, the, head was, the word was Lazazel, the scapegoat. This one would escape. So you got the two goats. And so here you have 2,000 years ago, not two goats, but two men standing, presented, ultimately delivered by the priest in front of the people, just as it had to be, and they have to decide which will go Adonai to the Lord to be sacrificed and which will escape, which will be Lazazel, which will be that. And in the ancient writings of the rabbis, it actually ordained that the, the two goats had to look identical because you had to not tell them apart. You know, the, the, the one die, in a sense dies for the other. They had to be identical. So here, could that mean that Messiah, you have Messiah, the one, and you have the criminal Barabbas, the other. Could they have been identical in some way? Could they have looked alike? We don't know that. We don't know, but the mystery is deeper. Because you, and you think, like, how can two people be so different than the Son of God, the Son of the Father, the Holy Son of the Father, and then Barabbas, the criminal, the murderer? Well, here's the amazing thing. There's a mystery. We've heard Barabbas our whole lives. He's the criminal. He's the, we think bad things. We think of Barabbas. But there's a mystery here because Barabbas, the name, he wasn't his real name. His real name wasn't Barabbas. His real name was Bar Abba. Bar Abba, you have the son of the father here. Bar Abba means the son of the father. Oh my goodness. You have Messiah, the son of the father, and you have Barabbas, the son of the father. That's what it means. The <laughs> identical. The one dying must die for the other, the two, the son of the father. When you look, look back at Isaac and when he's offered up, Isaac is what? He's the son of the father, Abraham. Now it's now on Passover. Who do, who's, who gets saved from by the Lamb? The Son of the Father, the Son in every household. Now you have Barabbas, the Son of on Passover. The other one is the Lamb. You know he's going to die for him, but he's also the Son of the Father. They're identical, Amen. and it goes even more. And it goes even more because in the ancient manuscripts of the Bible, and the, and you might see it in some of your footnotes, 
they actually give the name of Barabbas. His name was Jesus. Do you know that? Have you ever seen that in your footnotes? It was Jesus Barabbas. It's in your footnotes. Oh, my goodness. It's in your footnotes. Everybody in fact, go it, to your footnotes the, the, in your the, Bible. The reason, the reason why, the, wow. reason, I mean, we, the reason why it's not in all is because the early church fathers said, you can't have Barabbas with the same name as, as the Holy, as Jesus. And, and, and so, and so you, that's why you see so that some of the, they do not put them, they were not in all the manuscripts, but they're there. So you had, what do you have now? The, you have Barabbas, son of the Father, son of, you have, his name was Jesus. You have Jesus or Jesus. You have, or really, it was Yeshua and Yeshua. His full name was Yeshua, son of the Father. Barabbas just means the son of the Father. Oh, my God. Identical. Identical. So think about it. His whole life, this guy, he was born, given the name. Certainly, we know he was given the name son of the, the son of the Father, and, and most likely he was also named Yeshua, son of the Father. His whole life, he's, hold, he's bearing the name of Jesus, his whole life, because he's going to be the one for whom Jesus dies first. Barabbas represents us. He's the, he's the criminal. He has the death. Of, he has the de he's in bondage. He has the sentence of death on him, but he was born to be the son of the father too. And he bears the name of Jesus. He's in the image of Jesus. All of us, no matter who we are, we were born not only in the image of God, we were born in the image of Jesus. We be, that's why Jesus could die for us. But for him to die for us, he had to become our identical. That's why he, the sacrifice always has to become, that's why he came down to earth. That's why he lived, that's why he was born like we were. That's why he went through childhood like we do. That's why he went through pain and rejection and because we did. So he could share everything and become one with us on the cross. Oh. He could become our identical. Amazing. And, <laughs> and it's not oh. just, it's not just that he became the identical of the world. He became the identical of each of us. Wow. In some mystery, whoever, he became our identical. He knew our pain. He takes, if we were the only one on earth, it's him. When you look on the cross, it's not just Jesus dying for the world. It's Jesus dying specifically for you. It, that someone is dying as your identical. Mm -hmm. He's like taking your name. He's taking your old identity. He's taking you specifically and dying for that. Why? So, so look what happens. The, 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 that's one part of the mystery. The sacrifice must become one with you totally. But the other side of the mystery is the person for whom the sacrifice dies must now and is now given the power to become identical with the sacrifice. In other words, here, Messiah dies. Barab Messiah, actually, Messiah, you could call Messiah is also, this is going to sound strange, but in Hebrew it's exact. Messiah is the Barabbas. He is the son of the father, which in Greek is the Barabbas. Messiah became the Barabbas. He's the, the criminal. That Barabbas could become the Bar Abba, the son of the father. He goes free. He goes free. Now, we don't know if Barabbas ever realized what happened. We don't know. But we do realize what happened. Yeah. We are Barabbas. Yeah. We are the criminals. We had the sentence of death. We had the bondage. But now, our whole life is now, as, as, in the same way he became one with us, the mystery is that we are in the same way to become one with him. And that is that if he took our identity, we have the power to take his identity. That means we are to become the identical of the son of the father. We who were Barabbas now become Bar Abba, the son of the father, the child of God. You know, I'm thinking about this. I'm looking at you. I'm looking at you, Mano, and I heard a little bit of your testimony. How you were a gang member. You were all the stuff. We were all Barabbas, but that we, you are now the Bar Abba, the son of the father, Amen. that we can live holy we Ooh. truly have the power to live holy and free that we live he lived he died our death that we can actually live his life now a life of victory a life Ooh. of power a life of freedom we wow. are to be you are to be his identical <laughs> what an amazing that's, thing that that's is that's good preaching <laughs>